Patrick, we've got a robo drill here, and this is a, a tiny machine. I can only describe it as that, really. But it's not the only thing you've got on show here, is it, from a robo drill perspective? What else can people see at Emo this week on the Fanex stand? So we have different uh, industries we want to show here, like uh, this uh, green mobility or, or um, uh, bike industries. We show an automotive uh, application. We also show only an aluminum uh, application. And what's pretty new for us, we show a hail cutting. So we just uh, follow with the PKD um, tool, follow contour with the C-axis. Um, and what's different about that then? What's, what's, what's that new method or strategy? Yeah, we scratch it. So this, uh, the spindle stands still and we just scratch the surface and therefore you will get a really nice, brilliant uh, um, surface, uh, especially in aluminum. Okay, okay. Now this machine here, I, I said it, I mean you can see it on the camera, this is a very small footprint machine. Yeah. Very agile, very quick, isn't it? Is this the DDR table that you've got on here? Yeah. Okay, so what's new about these as well? So the new DDRT table, um, we fully developed it. Brand new is a torque table. Um, so we increased the, the payload of it from 150 to 200 kilos. Uh, the clamping and unclamping speed is uh, nearly brought down 50%. So it's really fast in clamping, unclamping. Um, and this brings you to reduce your cycle time dramatically. Is it as fast as it was before, even though you've had to gear it to hold heavier payloads? Uh, so give you an example, it's like driving a Volkswagen Passat and now you're driving a Porsche. Okay, but they were pretty, far, they were pretty fast in the first place though, weren't sure. they? <laughs> so, so, I mean, when you look at these machines, are these one of the fastest machines in the world, do you think, when it comes to metal cutting? Yeah, I would say, uh, because of the all new DIB Plus uh, CNC, uh, includes all the Ethernet functions for free now, so the machine itself, it was a high reliable, very dynamic machine, and we could increase that in a dramatic way. So it's, I think it's the fastest and best robot drill ever. And how easy, uh, your big focus here is obviously, uh, you know, you've mentioned electric vehicles, various industries, a lot of these need automation yep. these days. How easy is, is it to develop and integrate something like you've got here, a, a robot or a cobot, for example? Yep. I think it's never been that easy like today. Um, so it's just, you, you, you take your robot, you take one cable, put it in the uh, CNC control and uh, we are now able also to show um, and teach a bit the robot from the CNC control. So you need your teach band and yes, but we can um, give the robot some signals from the CNC. So it's a fully integrated version right now. Nothing to be scared about? No. Uh, what about your spindles on here? Now tell me about these, BBT30. Yeah packing some punch at the same time though, aren't they? What's yeah. new? So we still have got this uh, 10K and 24K spindles, which are very high reliable. And we brought, uh, because the market used to teach us that we need a new spindle with a high power. So we have a BBT30 spindle with 12,000 RPMs and the maximum torque of 100 Newton meter. So this is gonna cut anything, is it? These yeah. machines these days, yeah. nothing to be scared of. Titanium, stainless steels, you can do them all. Yeah, we're. I think this is the, as I said, the best robo drill because now we can go in every market. Uh, it's not, yeah, there's no limitation about the material anymore, so we can cut everything now, yes. 